Empathetic perspective. People who have empathetic perspective can see through space and time. They, they can literally look backwards, they can look forwards. They can see at a very macro level, they can, see, they can jump down to a very micro level. They can see, they almost can play the role of here's what the, what the VC is gonna say, here's what my co-founder is gonna say, here's what the engineers are gonna say. And so part of this is that they have a way in which to almost, almost detach themselves and play the role of that other person. There are people who like, they can connect dots so quickly. And the reason why they can connect dots is because they can actually see the gaps because they can actually play the, the role of these different people simultaneously. And so these people seem as very th quick thinkers, but they're really not. They're really just able to understand how other people think and feel. I always talk about the difference between empathy and sympathy. So e empathy is about putting yourself in their shoes, feeling what they feel, see what they see, hear what they hear, but you don't necessarily agree or disagree with whatever it is. You're just trying to play the role. The best way to get good at empathetic perspective is in the theater. I, I send team members to improv training to get them to actually get better at empathetic perspective, playing the role, understanding the context, understanding who they're playing with, what are they, where are they coming from? This is actually a very creative thing but it's also very, very concrete. So I worked at Ford Motor Company from two, 1985 to 1992, and Willie was my, was my boss, and uh, I think it was very early in 85, and um, we had a problem where the rear view mirror of the car, I worked uh, Ford Taurus, this rear view mirror that literally was attached, and it was just a plastic shell and a little mirror in it, right? And you snap it in, and it, you can see behind you. Well, it turns out that the way that we ended up molding that plastic is what would happen is, um, it would get really, really warm and it would expand and the lens would fall out on the dashboard. So they said, Bob, go fix that. I'm like, okay. So I would go and I'd find out and I said, you know what, the number one cause is the moisture of the plant in the summer because it's so humid. And they'd go like, can't, we can't air condition the plant, go find another way. And so what, uh, what Willie did is she says, all right, I want you to go be the molecule of plastic. I'm like, what? And so she basically said like, well, what kind of mo molecule is it? It's polyethylene. Well, what is polyethylene? How's it? Deep dive into all that stuff. And then I'd say, well, what, you know, what are the characteristics? How do we know when it's good? What are the good metrics behind it? How is it made, right? How is it transported, right? All the different pieces to it. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, how do we end up molding it and using it? And how does it actually become a lens? And so part of this was is she took me through the exercise of just having empathetic perspective from the product side. So a lot of times with teams, I'll actually spend time trying to get them to understand if I'm a piece of data, where do I go? What do I sit in? How do I get updated? I walk the team through being able to understand the flow of information, the flow of data, where does it, and how does it actually work as opposed to just talking about the results. This exercise helped me realize that, but to actually solve the problem without getting rid of the cause. We didn't get rid of the humidity of the plant, we just made the, 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 the injection molding machine robust to it, but I could have never seen it if I didn't have empathetic perspective.